All right, Gemini, for the week of January 21st through January 27th, we have magical times. We're going to pull energy of the week. We have the strength card and adversity. It says you have courage. You can endure. Find your center and spiral into your power. Adversity. See the gifts and challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. All right. So I heard the story right away, like before we pull any more cards. And since I'm getting over the whole self-doubt crap, I'm just going to spit the story out. Ready? Um, you, Gemini, you went through something that was challenging. You are at the end or the outcome. The outcome is here and you expected the outcome to be something different, but now you're understanding the adversity. You're understanding why you had to go through that challenge, what wisdom you gained, what lessons you learned. Um, there's something like it made you more powerful. It made you stronger. Um, it's the courage and door and, you know, spiral into your power that told me. All right. Let's do magic of the unicorns for the main spread we have creative solutions think outside the box as in your challenges or obstacle we have mahatma energy build your light body accelerate your ascension is lesson learned this is what's happening right now gemini the freedom of truth is here it says communicate honestly be who you truly are On the bottom is that expand your casual chakra card. All right, so I'm going to use triple goddess tarot. Um, I think you're scared, Gemini. I don't want to say you're scared. You're not scared. It's just the not knowing. Right. It's, like, it's just like the not like what's happening. Right. Type of energy. Um, and spirit saying like one, this is nothing compared to what we've been dealing with. Right. Gemini. And two, it's like something you went through has given you the courage to go forward. Look at that. So three of cups comes out, queen of pentacles comes out. Yes, the emperor comes out. Um, it's celebration. It's um, coming together, resources, queen of pentacles, and then the emperor, leadership. Power. Queen of Pentacles, learning to become your own resource. It's not learning to become your own resource. At Queen of Pentacles stage, you are your own resource. But it's like now you're implementing with your soul tribe, soul family, soul sisters. We have creative solutions. Think outside the box. Let's see what you're trying to think outside the box about. The full card, taking the leap of faith. And remember, Triple Goddess Tarot. So there's two different full cards in this deck. And one of them, she's fully dressed, fully prepared. One of them, she's barefoot. And she's like, screw it, let's just go, right? Um, Ace of Cups is here, overflow of emotion. It could also be about trusting your intuition. Yes, because Ace of Swords is here. And Ace of Swords is new clarity and new understanding. Here's what I'm going to say. I don't know what's happening, but like right now, I get so nervous before these lives, y'all. Like, I don't even know how to tell you. It's, I guess it's like stage fright or something, you know, where you like freeze and you're like, oh my gosh, what if I forget to read tarot today, right? Um, it happens to me all the time. And I've been working on like my anxiety, right? I've been working on my, um, you know, the depression, the anxiety, the PTSD, all the things, right? And it's interesting to me because I made an important decision today 
And I was so nervous to make this decision for such a long time. And it's like, I finally made it. And it's like, it's just flooding out. You see the cup, how the water is just like, it's just flooding out. I don't know. It's like the messages are super clear. And I'm going to try not to get emotional, but it's like, it's just flowing, coming quickly and clear. It's so clear. All right, build your light body, accelerate your ascension is here. Um, I do definitely feel like there is this powerful, it's like an ascension lift, right? All right, six of swords being guided. The page of pinnacles is here, new journey, new start. And then we have the knight of wands. The knight of wands could be energy about get excited for something, but I'm actually getting that we're supposed to stay calm at this time. Um, I'm getting this energy of like, we don't want to be reckless, reckless at this time. And I do feel like this is something that you're learning right now. I'm not going to say like, spirit is not going to say like, don't be excited about this ascension lift. You know what happens when ascension lifts happen? Well, I just told you like what happens. Um, things just get clear. Things come in quicker. Things are, um, I don't know. I don't know, the whole goal is ascending, right? So it's like when you have these lifts or like this assistance, it's exciting, right? All right, the freedom of truth, communicate honestly and be who you truly are. Oh, we have the page of cups coming out. The page of cups could be an I'm sorry card. There's normally like this fish flying out, like trying to jump out of the cup. And it says like, you know, this is a slippery situation, right? Um, but this is triple goddess tarot. It's actually an octopus. He has all those eight tentacle things, like really just clutching the cup. So it's like you have a grasp on the situation. We have the Ten of Swords, a completion to a painful life cycle. Um, this is you processing the trauma. This is you overcoming the trauma. This is um, Rosa not letting her anxiety stop her from following her purpose, right? <laughs> and then we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, again, protector, provider, but it's stepping up to the plate, stepping up to the plate energy. On the bottom, spiritual awakening. Um, my purpose, Gemini, you're showing someone how to come out of the darkness. Like, that's what we do, right? <laughs> Virgo energy strongly. All right, I'm going to pull some blessed B cards for Gemini. Um, the Emperor, Aries energy, and the full card, which is more Aries energy coming out. The pinnacles were strong though, right? So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we did see the Hermit, strong Virgo energy. We have Morgan's blessing of peace after battle. Um, so it's the Blessed Bee Oracle. It's number 46. It's one of the most beautiful cards in this Oracle set. It talks about the fear, the self-doubt, and how it keeps us from being able to move forward in our journey. And it talks about, it tells her story and what she had to do to overcome those fears. And then it talks about the rewards. Um, a blessing on a new venture and a blessing to find your way. On the bottom, a blessing for unity where once there was division. And y'all, I'm glad there's no camera today. <laughs> All 
Gemini reading. And first one, I got all serious. All right, so I'd say emotions are high, clearly. Um, I don't think you're overthinking. I, but I will say this, Gemini, I feel like you're tired. But there's definitely this battle, right? But there's like this energy of tired. Don't let pride get in your way. It's going to be full moon in Leo. We also have communication is key. It's going to be new moon in Gemini. And your commitment is being tested. It's first quarter moon. On the bottom, you and your loved ones are safe. And it's new moon in Cancer. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that reading was helpful. I'm going to...